All right, here is a look at the SEC schedule this week. Hugh Freeze, who coached the Rebels from 2012 to 2016, returns to Oxford as Liberty's head coach. Auburn and Mississippi State both on the road this week. LSU travels to Tuscaloosa to take on the Tide. Alabama has won 41 of its last 42 home games. That one loss? Well, it came at the hands of LSU back in 2019. Now, Alabama ranks second in points per game and offensive efficiency this season. The Crimson Tide converting nearly 60% of their third down guys. And Alabama has scored 30 points in an FBS record 34 straight games. Meanwhile, LSU has allowed at least 30 points in each of its past three games. That's tied for the second longest streak in program history. So I know that there are going to be fans here in Cincinnati who don't think that highly of what Alabama has done, certainly because it benefits the Cincinnati Bearcats. What have been the keys to Alabama's success this season on offense? Uh, on offense, it's Bryce Young. I mean, they, they've got playmakers, and, and James Williams comes from up the road right there in uh, uh, Ohio State yeah. and Columbus, who's been a, a key contributor. Yep. But Bryce Young's special. I, I mean, he really is. He started to come into his own. We knew he had a lot of talent, but now just the quick decision-making, the quick feet, the quick processor, getting the ball out of his hands. Um, third down obviously speaks for itself. It's ridiculous, but they've got balance on offense, and that will continue to be a strength of them, you know, moving forward. No, you're 100% right. You say they have balance. I mean, Brian Robinson, the running back, averaging five yards a carry, 100 yards a game, and he adds great balance to an RPO system that makes you now have to defend the run and the pass. And when you have an RPO system and you have Bryce Young running it, at a very high efficient level, the defense just can't be right. No matter what you, where you guessing, you're going to be wrong. And uh, Bryce Young, like you said, processing things at an incredible pace. And I have a tape tomorrow on game day where I'm gonna show just not only how fast he's able to read defenses, but how fast he's able to, to, to flip his hips and get the ball out. His, his, his hand work is like magic. He's like a magician, I'm telling you. It's incredible. You'll see tomorrow on the tape that I'm gonna show you. I was blown away. Like he gets the ball out of his hands, in like 2.1 to 2.2 seconds during an RPO, meaning riding, so it's impressive. Well, we mentioned how good they are on third down conversion. Very yeah. quickly, do you see them as the number two team in the nation right now? I didn't. I was surprised when it when it came up. I really was. So I, I can't say that I, I see them as the number two team in the nation right now because when that came up Tuesday night, I was like, whoa, Alabama. So you just that, that you lost to A and M to a backup quarterback. You guys are like, but the crazy thing is. That's right. Maybe you guys should have been number two. It's like you said earlier, how Gary Barter made it seem like it wasn't even a thought. Like, they didn't even blink. It shouldn't like, yes, be. Of course, it's not Alabama. It who shouldn't else, be. Who why, else can it be? Why would you put Cincinnati over Alabama? Come on. <laughs> Get out of here. Are you kidding me? Like, who else? Bama? Of course, I mean, Bama? Trying to Come on. <laughs> they know what's going on here. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.